fake Porsche. I can't believe we snuck an MR2 into a Porsche meet. They still haven't noticed. What's going on everybody? It's PMOC at 86 Drive. Today we are headed to a trunk or treat meet at SP Motorsports. It's a Porsche themed meet, so we're gonna go check it out. My boy Dima is here with me, but uh, he's feeling a little shy today, so I'm gonna keep him off camera. You'll probably hear his voice as he uh, co-narrates with me here. So like I said, this is a Porsche community meet. So we're gonna see a lot of Porsches here today. Old and new. Oh, here comes one of those filthy BMWs. <laughs> <laughs> Just being facetious. Look at these flowers. I'm here to film the flowers. There's some nice older Porsches here. Looks like this one's, uh, I believe, a 964 or 911. I drove in behind that GT3 and it was really embarrassing. The MR2 behind the GT3. This is what I do. It looks like the Mazda Soul Red. <laughs> it's even the correct spec, rear wheel drive. I'm in love with this car. I know we're at a Porsche, but I'm not here, but I'm not leaning. It's motorsports meet, right? Is this the actual shop over here? Yeah. We're going over there. Okay, I haven't, haven't been here before. Get a raffle ticket there as well. Oh. Are they having a raffle? Huh? What, what are they giving away? I have no idea. Is it one of those where you have to buy a, a raffle ticket? Yeah, or? Really? You just have to show your back proof. Oh. Did you see the infotainment screen on this thing? It's oh. incredible. Ooh, Carrera GT. You don't see too many of these in person. I think it's the first one I've ever seen in person. I've seen one at the Canepa Museum. Oh yeah, that's true. Look at that Love the, the walnut wood knob. Yeah, those are custom. Display? What display? Right there. Look at that high-tech infotainment. It is gorgeous though. I think they're kind of misshapen, but uh, I love them. It's like a hyper boxster. <laughs> to be to me the Cura GT looks like somebody put a really wide body on a boxer. To be clear, I love these cars and I respect them, but they're not the most cohesive, gorgeous car. And then they went and uh, and then they went and uh, made a body kit for the MR2 Spider that looks like the Cura GT. Are there the some... veil side. Oh yeah yeah yeah. If, if you're wondering, I, I greatly respect these cars, but I don't think they're gorgeous. I think they're fascinating looking special but not good. Well I think one of the things about Porsche is that they've always valued function over aesthetics. I don't know, 911, especially that red one right there, is like the, the peak of automotive beauty. Yeah, I think it's evolved over the years to become an icon. Yeah. But they didn't, you know, they didn't start out to be beautiful cars. It's also that, I always forget the name of that one. The is that a 993 or a 964? Probably a 993. I mean, it's a 911. <laughs> yeah, but well, that generation is my favorite. Yeah, well, we'll, we'll come back to that one. We'll, we'll head in that direction. Just gotta drool over every single car here. I've already made my rounds. 1199 foundation. These four S's are wildly quick on launch. You drove one or you drove in one? Uh, I don't know. I saw them. Nice. Yeah. Oh, you brought the MR2? Yeah. Of course. Hey, at least it's mid engine. But I bought the boxer motor. <laughs> okay, so you brought the front engine car with the inferior motor. Hey, you could have brought a, like a 944, 968. Those are all front engine in Porsche. Yeah, but they're also disrespected in Porsche. You didn't even wash your car. I Larry would be time. ashamed.
I think this is a 964. <laughs> Those original Porsche wheels, or I don't know, widened in the way that people like to do now. They look great, whatever they are. Yeah, you're right. This is a 993. Yeah, yeah. This is a 993, so that one's a 962. This is my favorite generation. This wing is just a little bit lower, like a couple of inches. Oh, I love the, I believe this is the Miami blue color. I love this color. GT2 RS. Oh, you don't see too many of these. Kind of the top of the Porsche food chain in terms of street cars. Actually, not even really a street car. <laughs> I mean, I, I think it's street legal, yeah, but at, this, at that point, it'd be a shame if you don't put that on the track. That kind of car belongs on the track. Did he look like Dr. Disrespect? I don't like Dr. Disrespect. Well, it doesn't matter whether you like him or not. Did he look like him? <laughs> like a bitch. <laughs> guys that used to run it, I guess, kind of retired. Maybe I'll do it in Yeah, no, they run really good events. They, they do have to run I don't know about it.
this is one of those retro colors that gets back into style after a while like you know i'm sure it was in vogue in like the 70s and then became out of fashion for a while and then now it's kind of cool again in that radwood kind of way it's like you left some cherries out in the sun for a couple days i like it <laughs> Frog pop looks hilarious though. Oh yeah. You know those, yeah, they, they go down backwards. Yeah, yeah. Funny. Kind of love this sprite combination here, lemon lime. And I'm a huge fan of these, uh, what are they called? Nine, 996. 996. identical to a 356. Look at it. What? They have the same like style. Wow. Super cool. I wonder if we can go back here and look. Yeah, just keep it perfectly balanced on both ends. Yeah, Apex wheels. I guess a Lamborghini is sort of in the Porsche camera. As much as a VW Beetle is. Oh yeah. Race trailer. Very nice. 
set of these guys. People brought their dogs. <laughs> I got some tacos. What'd you get there? Same as you, but less. <laughs> My friend Dima is going to try and sneak his MR2 into the uh, Porsche parking area. There he is. You look so satisfied with yourself. I am. <laughs> Man, this man's attempt. He is masculine. Yeah, this definitely has a nice classic design to it. That you know, I know they tried to replicate it with that concept car recently, but yeah, this I one. I didn't think it worked for them. So I have to say that was an incredible meet. I really enjoyed seeing all of the amazing sports cars and race cars out there at the SP Motorsports meet. Um, and not just Porsches, right? Like it was, there were some Lamborghinis, there were some other very rare cars um, that you don't get a chance to see every single day. Um, I know Dima and I were pretty enamored with the, um, I think it was a Huracan Evo Spider bright red color but um, didn't even comment on it but looking back at the footage right next to it was a Aventador SVJ which is super rare uh, super expensive so uh, and then of course next to that was a Porsche Carrera GT um, and so those two cars are probably each at least a half a million dollars um, so just incredible machinery out there on that day um, so just really glad that I had a chance to see uh, such incredible stuff. I thought it was an incredible meet, very um, well put together, very 
um, generous of SP Motorsports to host a meet at their shop on a weekend. And not only that, um, and, and of course, in addition to the amazing cars that they had on display, and, and of course the uh, really great cars that came out to the meet, but um, also a shout out to SP Motorsports and their um, sponsor, Ali, I think it's called, or Oloi. I'm not sure how to pronounce that name, but uh, it's a clothing company that they uh, partnered with in order to host this particular meet. And they were extremely generous in terms of providing food and drinks. And then they had uh, very generous raffles for participants. Um, anybody who showed up with uh, proof of vaccination was given a raffle ticket um, so that you know you had a chance to win these uh, incredible prizes including uh, gift cards and um, track day packages and, and just all kinds of really cool stuff that um, was extremely generous of, of these two organizations to contribute for this uh, gathering so huge shout out to SP Motorsports and uh, Ollie just a really classy meet, um, as, as my friend Dima pointed out, just uh, a really chill, nice environment where everybody was uh, super nice. There was just a lot of mutual interest in, in cars, in motorsport, and uh, it, it was just all around a, a, a great uh, gathering of, of the community. And, uh, you know, really, really glad that I had a chance to come out and check it out. Um, and, and thank you again to SP Motorsports for opening their doors to, to the public and just letting us all come and see uh, some amazing cars and to see just a glimpse into uh, the incredible work that they do um, preparing cars for the racetrack as well as uh, setting people up for awesome uh, street drivers. So just a, a, just a really cool day overall and I'm really glad that I had the chance to come out and see it. And hopefully you had a glimpse into that as well from watching the video. So uh, hope you enjoyed it. Thank you as always for watching. So stay safe, stay healthy, and take care. I'll see you in the next episode.